but the bottom sort of starts to get a little greener, a little cooler. And as you kind of drop through that layer, uh, you know that you're getting closer to the bottom and then you kind of see this wreck emerge and it's, it's pretty exciting. Certain sites, like particularly the U-boat sites like the U-701, 85, the 352, those sites are totally intact and they, they look like you would expect. They just look like a U-boat and they, uh, they're pretty cool. The Battle of the Atlantic in general really took place from the North Sea all the way down to the southern tip of Africa. It really encompassed, it was truly an oceanic war. As, as it concerns North Carolina, at least in the early stage, the first six months in 1942, Hatteras was identified as sort of the place for, for uh, German U-boat commanders to come and, and uh, rack up tonnage. It's, it's pretty incredible. The, the seabed is off North Carolina is just it's covered in, in life. It's, these wrecks have become these amazing reefs. But the, really the cool thing about it is that you, you spend so much time in archives and reading and looking at action reports, spending most of the year doing that sort of work and then having the opportunity to strap on a tank and jump in the water and, and finally see what I've been, you know, which has only been conceptual up to that point. It's exhilarating.